सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल पी सी एम अकेडमी एंड माई सेल्फ पुसेंद मल्लिक पी एम सी एन फिजिक्स एंड इन दिस चैनल बेसिकली आई हैव अपलोडेड वेरियस काइंड ऑफ वीडियोज बेस्ड ऑन द एग्जाम आई टी जे एम जेस्ट एंड ऑल्सो द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग देम सेल्स फॉर द एग्जाम लाइक जे ई मेन एंड एडवांस दे विल ऑल्सो भी हेल्पफुल फ्रॉम दिस चैनल बिकॉज देर इज सेपरेट सेक्शन इफ यू सी द प्ले लिस्ट देर इज सेपरेट सेक्शन फॉर आई टी जे एम जेस्ट फॉर एम एस सी एंड चांसेस एंड सेपरेट सेक्शन फॉर जे एडवांस ऑल्सो जे ई मेन एडवांस ऑल्सो सो बोथ द कोर्सेज इज गोइंग ऑन सैमल्टेनियसली सो इफ यू आर एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ जे ई मेन एडवांस और इफ यू आर एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ आई टी जे एम जेस्ट नेट गेट दिस कैंस ऑफ कॉम्पिटिव एग्जाम ओबियसली फॉर द फिजिक्स स्टूडेंट ओनली this channel will be very helpful for you so if you are new in this channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon also and we have discussed lot of things uh, based on the mathematical physics the topics mathematical physics we have discussed lot of things and uh, the course on mathematical physics is uh, going to be end uh, very few lectures are left now i am going to start a new series of lectures that is based on practice session that is for your practice session obviously and i will discuss about some mcqs some msqs and some numerical and chart type questions also and basically the questions uh, i will discuss over here are asked in, in the exam like in the previous year questions like jam jest and also some questions i will discuss with you which will be more helpful for others msc entrants also like uh, bhu or something like that Uh, this kind of uh, many university exam that will also be uh, the, the questions will also be helpful for this kind of exam also other than jam jest etiquette okay so let me discuss today some questions based on the topic waves and oscillations and basically the topics based on the simple harmonic motions and uh, the questions that are asked in previous year i had jam questions that i am going to start here i am going to discuss them. okay so let me solve the first questions that i have here in this case that questions is asked in jam physics 2007 and here the question is that when two simple harmonic oscillations represented by x is equal to a0 cos omega t plus alpha and y is equal to b0 cos omega t plus beta are superposed at right angles the resultant is an ellipse so this is the question is asked from the lissajous figure you can understand because um, this uh, vibrations x is equal to a0 cos omega t plus alpha and b0 cos omega t plus beta superposed at right angles so when, whenever two vibrations are superimposed or two oscillations are superimposed at right angles to each other they form various lissajous figure and the resultant is an ellipse and here the lissajous figure is an ellipse with its major axis along the y axis as as one in figure the condition which correspond corresponds to this area okay so which condition is satisfied for this case so this is a lissajous figure and which is uh, ellipse which is an ellipse and for ellipse you know the condition is the phase difference should be pi by 2 the phase difference between these two vibrations should be pi by 2 so obviously the phase difference between alpha and beta should be pi by 2 and another thing you can see the first condition is based on the phase difference and the second condition that is given in the options is based on the amplitude and you can see that a0 is the amplitude along x axis for the x vibration and b0 is the amplitude along y vibration and you can see from this figure this figure is given in the questions in the question and you can see from the figure from this figure there is a y vibration the amplitude of y vibration is twice the amplitude of x vibration because here is only one unit and here is two unit okay so here the b0 you talk about b0 so this b0 is twice of a0 this b0 is twice of a0 okay because the y vibration is is twice the x vibration okay so this this option this or in this option here is 2 a0 is equal to b0 and another one thing is that that beta minus alpha should be pi by 2 so this is the phase difference you can say okay so phase difference should be A difference should be obviously that beta minus alpha should be pi by two, should be pi by two. So here also beta minus alpha is pi by two, and here also beta minus alpha is pi by two. But here the amplitude is two a zero is equal to b zero, but here the amplitude a zero is equal to b zero. So this is not correct. 
this will be correct if the semi major axis will be along the x axis okay so here the correct option is option c okay so this is a very good question conceptual questions asked on jump is 2007 okay so now let's move to the next questions so here you can see the six simple harmonic oscillation each of same frequency and equal amplitude are super superposed okay so six simple harmonic the phase difference between any two consecutive oscillations that is phi n minus phi n minus 1 is del phi okay is constant where phi n is the phase of the nth oscillation if the resultant amplitude of the superposition is zero so what is the phase difference del phi so we have to find out the resultant amplitude what is the resultant amplitude so in, you know when n number of waves are superimposed to each other what is the resultant uh, what is the resultant uh, amplitude okay so the in case of n in case of n number of waves which have the phase difference del phi each other or you can say phi each other so for n number of waves the super superimposed wave why resultant if you talk about then that will be if one is a sin omega t then the next will be a sin omega t plus if the phase difference is del phi then it will be del phi okay then and you can see here the phi n minus phi n minus 1 is del phi okay so between any two consecutive number co consecutive wave the phase difference is del phi so that so the phase difference for the next wave will be 2 del phi okay and same frequency and equal amplitude same frequency and equal amplitude so you can use omega and a same okay and in the next term that will be a sine omega t plus this will be 2 del omega del phi so you can see for the third for the third wave it will be third vibration it will be omega t plus 2 del phi that is 3 minus 1 so you will get for nth vibration it will be a sine a sine omega t plus n minus 1 del phi n minus del phi. okay so if you add this there is a formula from trigonometry that if you add this then what you will get you will get just a sine a sine n into del phi by 2 n into del phi by 2 divided by sine del phi by 2 sin del phi by 2 sin del phi by 2 into sin omega t plus n minus 1 by 2 into del phi into del phi so you need to remember this result this is the uh, this is the actually the expression of resultant amplitude okay so the resultant amplitude is this this is the resultant wave so the resultant amplitude is this this is the resultant amplitude for n wave but here we are given for six simple harmonic oscillations so instead of n we should put here at six so if you put here at six then your resultant amplitude ar will be you can see that ar will be a sign if you put a six to six by two will be three so it will be 3 del phi 3 del phi divided by sin del phi by 2 sin del phi by 2 and if you want to write the resultant amplitude then you have to put here n is equal to 6 so that will be just 5 by 2 del phi so we don't need to take this term because we need this resultant amplitude term so that means this term and in the questions it is given that the resultant amplitude of superposition is 0 that means this is 0 and if this will be zero then obviously you can see from here the 3 del phi 3 del phi must be 3 del phi must be pi pi because sine pi is zero sine zero should be zero but uh, the there is a sudden sudden phase difference del phi is not equal to zero so as del phi is not equal to zero so it should be pi it should be pi so what will be your del phi so your del phi will be pi by 3 pi by 3 so option b is correct option b is correct okay so this is how you can solve these kinds of questions when there are super question of many number of waves okay so you, you need to remember this result so this is very helpful in, in these kinds of questions okay
and this this will use actually in diffraction also in in, in NCLED diffraction also this formula is used okay so if you remember this this will be very helpful in many 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 sections of physics okay so please remember this now let's move to the next question also so this question is also asked in jam 2011 a particle of mass moving in a potential v of x is equal to this given for omega 0 and a are positive constant the angular frequency of small oscillation this is very important there is a small oscillations that means we have to take we have to neglect the higher order term okay so frequency of small oscillation for the simple harmonic motion of the particle about a stable minimum of the potential v of x stable minimum that means stable equilibrium point so let me first find out the stable equilibrium point okay so at stable equilibrium point obviously dv by dx is equal to 0 okay so we can find out the frequency so first what we, we, we need to find out we need to find out the dv upon dx that means the force at this stable equilibrium point obviously 0 that means f is equal to minus dv by dx is equal to 0 this will obviously be 0 so what is dv upon dx you can find over from here that dv upon dx is nothing but if you differentiate this so differentiation of excess for h 2x so it will be just m omega 0 square x plus here is a by 2m is a constant and differentiation of 1 upon x square is minus 2 upon x cube so it will be minus 2 upon x cube and that will be 0 so from here you can find out that m omega 0 square x is equal to is equal to so if the point is if the point is taken as x0 then this will be x0 so m omega 0 square x0 is equal to this 2 2 will be cancelled out and it will be a upon m x0 cube from here we can find out the x0 so our x0 to the power 4 equal to a divided by i think it will be m square omega 0 square because here is m and here is m also so it will be m square omega 0 square and the x0 will be a upon m square omega 0 square to the power 1 by 4 okay so this is the stable equilibrium point and obviously if you take the second differentiation of this you will get the greater than zero if you if you want you can do it and you will get obviously that d2 v dx2 at x is equal to x0 you will get greater than zero obviously because here this is said that this is stable equilibrium point so obviously at stable equilibrium point this will be greater than zero and if you check if you want to check you can you, you can um, make the second differentiation and put this value okay now what we have to find out we have to find out the we have to find out the angular frequency okay so for angular frequency we let us uh, try to establish the the force equation the differential equation and for the small oscillation okay so then we can find out the frequency so how you can find out the differential equation we have to find out the expression of f so here you can see at x is equal to x0 what is f so at x is equal to x0 your f will be f will be minus dv upon dx at x is equal to x0 and that is that is you if you put here at x is equal to x0 dv upon dx is nothing but m omega 0 square x0 minus a upon m x0 cube minus a upon m x0 cube okay so this is your f and this will obviously be equal to 0 because at stable equilibrium point the net force is 0 so we have this equation in our hand and we have if in general what is f at any point what is f at any point if you talk about at any point then f is equal to simple minus dv upon dx at any point so in that case we have this equation that is m omega 0 square x minus a upon mx cube mx cube so this is at any point x now suppose suppose this is at x is equal to 0 suppose and this is x is equal to x0 so about this point about this point the, the particle is vibrating now 
if you displaced this point at some point x over here and this x should be very small because here small oscillation here, here it is asked that that the frequency for small oscillation so if you displace the particle some extent to x where x is very small then we can find the force will be in that case in that case x0 plus x so instead of x we can write as x0 plus x okay so from x is equal to 0 this point will be this point will be x0 plus x okay so at any point x0 plus x what will be your force what will be your force so at at x equal to x0 plus x we have f is equal to minus m omega 0 square minus f is equal to minus dv dx so it will be minus m omega 0 square x plus x0 x plus x0 minus a upon m x cube so it will be a upon m into x plus x0 cube now if you write this with this negative sign you will get minus m omega 0 square into x plus x0 minus as much will be plus a upon m into x plus x0 now you know as x is equal to very small so so if you if you write in terms of in terms of if you write in terms of x okay in terms of x upon x0 x upon x0 the higher term of x that will be x square x cube will be cancelled out will be neglected so if we write it in this way that if we take common over here minus m omega 0 square if you take common from here is x0 then it will be 1 plus 1 plus x upon x0 you can see if you take common from here x0 then it will be 1 plus x by x0 similarly from here if you take common this cube okay if you take common x0 cube so it will be just your m x0 cube into 1 plus x upon x0 equal 3 all cube okay so this will be your f now now if you rearrange this equation again you will get this kinds of thing m omega 0 square x0 into 1 plus x by x0 x0 plus a by m x0 cube into this can be written as 1 plus x by x0 or minus 3 so now if you expand this binomial, binomial expansion then that term will be neglected and here only one term is present so no problem so now let me multiply this with this so it will be just it will be just minus m minus m omega 0 square x0 x0 minus m omega 0 square x okay plus a y m x0 q this will be just 1 minus 3x upon x0 now if you again multiply this omega 0 square x0 minus m omega 0 square x plus we have one term a upon m x0 cube minus you will get this will be 3x so it will be just 3 a x and in the denominator we have m x 0 to the power 4 m x 0 to the power 4 so this is our case this is our final now you can see if you arrange this term and this term together then what you will get you will get just a is equal to minus m omega 0 square x 0 minus so this is plus a by mx0 cube a y 
m x zero cube. Okay, so this is one term. Okay, and another term is this. So it will be minus m omega zero square x minus three a x upon m x zero to the power four. Now, if you see, this is nothing but this is nothing but the force at x is equal to x zero. This you can see from here. M omega zero square x zero minus a upon m x zero. So this will also be zero. So what we will end? We will end up with a is equal to just minus m omega zero square x minus three a x upon m into one by x zero to the power four. Now we have x zero to the power four. This. So this is our x zero to the power four. So if you take from here one upon x zero to the power four, so it will be just m square omega zero square by a. So we can put here, we can put here minus m omega zero square x minus three a x by m into we can put here m square omega zero square by a m square omega zero square by a now now if you solve further what you will get you will get from here i think this will be not visible to you let me write So let me write over here that f equal to minus m omega zero square x minus you can see this m m will be cancel out this a a will be cancel out so it will be three m omega zero square to minus three m omega zero square into x okay so this will be your finally minus four m Omega zero square x. So this would be your. You can see so this would be your force equation, and this is for small oscillation because f is proportional to minus x. So here you can see that f is proportional to minus x. Okay. Now, now what will be your frequency? Your angular frequency that is omega. So you can find from here your f will be nothing but. So let me write in the next page. F equal to minus. Four m omega zero square into x. Okay, so if you want, you can write this force is equal to m into d to x dt two equal to minus four m omega zero square x. Now this m m will be cancel out, and we have d to x dt two plus four omega zero square into x. And you know this is your omega square. This is your omega square. You know if you compare with this equation, plus omega square x is equal to zero, then we have just omega square is equal to four omega zero. Four omega zero. So your omega will be root four omega zero. Four omega zero square. That means two omega zero. So your frequency will be two omega zero. Okay. So I think this will be the right one. Let me check. Yes, this two omega zero is the correct answer. Okay. So you have to solve in this way if if the question is asked based on small solution. Okay. So the the the, the question is relevant this solution is, but uh, you have to do it. Okay. You have to do it. Otherwise, if you want, you can find it in this way also as as your omega is equal to as your you know omega square is equal to k by m. So your omega is equal to root k by m, k by m, and then you can find by using the uh, second derivative also. If you find the second derivative d two v d x two, okay, then you can find uh, at at the value of k will be just the value of k will be the second derivative d two v d x two at x is equal to x zero. 
at x is equal to x zero. But here the problem is that problem is that that the that the v of x the v of x has this term this extra term. Okay, because you know for small oscillation, if there is just half m omega zero square x square this kind of term. If your v of x is just proportional to x square, then you can do it in this way easily. But here this perturbation term is added. You can see. So you cannot solve in this way. You have to you have to reach the force equation, and you have to make sure that the force equation is in small oscillation by approximation by using this kind of approximation. You have to reach in this in this equation. Otherwise, if there is there is uh, only the the v of x is proportional to x square in that case you can you can do it so this is a general method this is a general method you can solve lot of questions by using this uh, other uh, whatever be the uh, term added here so if you arranged if you reach to this equation this force equation that is the small oscillation that is a proportional to minus x then can you, you can easily find out the, the frequency okay so this is a very important questions though the process is lengthy but this is very important question Oh, now next question. So this question is again asked in Jam Geophysics 2010. A simple pendulum suspended from a ceiling of a stationary cart has a time period two seconds. So if there is a stationary cart, you know, you know, then your t will be just two pi root l by g. Two pi root l by g. But when the cart accelerates in the horizontal direction with an acceleration 10 meter per second square. So if your cart is accelerated if you have a pendulum in the cart something like this so if you have a pendulum then your g will be along this direction and if the cart is accelerated along this, this direction so your acceleration will be along this direction so you will have a resultant acceleration of a and g along this direction and that will be root over a square plus g square so in that case your, your time period t dash will be will be just 2 pi root over root over l by l by root over g square plus a square root over g square plus s this kind of situation you have now this a is given as 10 meter per second square that means your a and g are same your a and g are same a is equal to g and your t is given as 2 second 2 second that means you can substitute this 2 2 pi root over l by g h2 so now what you have to do you have to just see this equation you have to arrange this equation in this term so let me take this h 2 pi This is 2 pi root over L divided by if you take common from here g, then you will have 1 plus a square by g square. This kind of thing. Now, if you take this L by g outside, so you have 2 pi root over L by g, and here will be also 1 upon root over 1 plus a square by g square. Okay, now you can see this a, a and g are same, so it will be 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. 1 plus 1 will be 2. So it will be just this 2 pi root over L by g is 2 divided by 1 upon this will be root 2. Because this is 1 plus 1 because your a and g are same, both are 10. Okay, so this will be 1 minus half. So 2 to the power 1 minus half. That means 2 to the power half. So your option should be. So this. This will be 2 pi root over L by G. Yes. This this will be. Okay, okay. So here is also another root, okay. Another root. So it will be 1 square root also. Okay. So something. So this this will be 1 by 2 to the power 1 1 upon 4. Okay. It will be 2 into 2 to the power 2 to the power. 1 upon 2 to the power 1 by 4, then 2 to the power minus 1 by 4. Okay. So it will be 1 minus 1 by 4. So it will be 2 to the power 3 by 4. 3 by 4. That means. And this is correct. Okay. So please be careful. Two roots are there. Okay. So here is 2 to the power half. And for another root, it will be 2 to the power 1 by 4. And that will be 2 to the power minus 1 by 4. If you take it in the numerator. Then it will be 1 minus 1 by 4. It will be 2, 2 to the power 3 by 4 second. So option D is correct. Okay. So this is also very good question. Just you have to rearrange this equation in this way. Then you can only find out the answer in this way. So you need the answer in this way. If you if you put in another way by using calculator, then you can uh, cannot understand what will be the right option. So 
finding the uh, options, seeing the options, you have to decide that how you can you have to arrange this equation. Okay, so this is a very tricky question in your calculation part. It's very good question. Next question. This is again the question based on Lissage's figure. So the Lissage's figures is very important for your jam purpose. So from this topics, the question is asked many times. I have seen from this question that is the Lissage's figure. So you have to you have to prepare these topics with with very strong point. Okay. So you have to very strongly prepare this these topics. That is the Lissage's figure. Okay. So now what is the questions? Let me see solve. The superposition of two sinusoidal waves a sin omega 1t and b sin omega 2 produce the following Lissajous figure the ratio of omega 1 to omega 2. So you can solve this this uh, equation directly this omega 1 and omega 2 directly uh, from your theory part because this is a very simple thing in your theory part uh, if you know all the Lissajous figure then you obviously know the frequency ratio for this kinds of picture this kinds of diagram you might have remembered okay but I am going to tell you a, a, a general way, a general way, how you can find out these kinds of questions, the ratio of omega 1 and omega 2. Okay, so here you can see this omega 1 is nothing but the x vibration. We can, we can substitute this omega 1 means actually omega s, x, this is x vibration. And you can see this omega 2 is a y vibration. So omega 2 is omega y. And there is a shortcut methods to find out the frequency ratio from this kinds of figure that is your num your your x vibration your frequency of x vibration if you talk about frequency of x vibration frequency of x vibration that means your omega x and your frequency of y vibration the ratio of frequency x vibration and frequency of y vibration that is obviously omega the ratio of these two will be will be the number of times cast the figure y axis number of times times cut the figure y axis y axis divided by this is reciprocal here is omega x but here is y axis but frequency of y vibration is nothing but number of times cut the figure x axis at the figure x axis and you can see from the figure that the figure is cut y axis here is 1 here is 1 2 and here is 2 because you can see if you draw the figure in this way then here in this in this direction here one times cut the y axis and along this way here another one times cut the y axis so this figure cut the y axis two times here okay and two times along this this point and this point so number of times cut the figure y axis will be 4 similarly number of times cuts the figure x axis if you see in this direction and x axis one is this and another one is this so on x axis this figure this figure is passed two times okay so this figure cuts x axis two times and y axis four times so it will be 4 by 2 that will be 2 so your omega x divided by omega y is equal to 2 and your omega x means omega 1 here so that will be obviously equal to omega 1 divided by omega 2 so this omega 1 divided by omega 2 is equal to 2 is equal to 2 so you have to you, you have to remember this thing this thing okay this is very important this is very important. Okay. so these are the questions based on some previous questions so we will discuss more questions in the next video okay thank you